Right now, crews are very busy. They are trying to get the lights back on for families out there tonight who do not have power. And we're already seeing some drastic improvements tonight. That's a really good thing. Let's take a look at some of the details, some of the numbers in our local area that we'll check out sort of in the heart of uh, the metro. And in Fulton County, only about 900 homes are without power right now. That's a big improvement uh, from the numbers that we saw earlier. The number in Cobb is down to 100. In DeKalb, let's take a look at here. The, the number is very high, actually still about 2,500 homes. Uh, and and uh, if we go up into Gwinnett, that number goes to about 300. You can keep track of all of the outages and how long it's going to take for them to get fixed by downloading the Atlanta News First app. But meantime, this holiday freeze is hitting people who are experiencing homelessness especially hard. A lot of people sleeping on the streets. They just don't have access to heat. That is not a good thing with conditions like this. Sawyer Bussey live for us in downtown Atlanta. She's hearing their stories tonight. Sawyer. That's right. We have been outside all day today speaking to people who are unhoused, people who are braving these temperatures here on the streets. And the truth is homelessness impacts black people in Atlanta more than it does any other demographic. According to Partners for Home, 85 percent of unhoused people in Atlanta are African-American. Almost every person that we spoke to today told me they feel like they're fighting for their lives in these temperatures. First the rain. Leave on my blankets last night. It it rained. It's just real hard out here, especially when it's cold. Then the freeze. You feel pain. You feel a lot of pain going through your body. You can see how critical they are. That's because they're frozen. Now the weight. My hands got the really getting cold, and I have to get these warmers right here and keep on shaking them and putting them together. So to try my best to stay warm, and that's the only thing I can have right now. When you're unhoused and facing a weekend of freezing temperatures on the streets. You know, your body can only take so much. Whatever supplies you can carry, whatever kindness comes your way. But I also want people to know that there's a lot of good people that help out in Atlanta and everywhere else, you know, and that's how we survive. Whatever warm places in town you can walk to become lifelines. It really, the temperature didn't get too, too bad until this morning or, you know, almost morning. So I got on the train and I defrost myself and came back out. Every time the temperatures drop, you might wonder what friends will not be afforded the tools that will help you survive the night. I've had plenty die already. I, last last um, winter, three froze. You might wonder if there will be a winter. You're not laying on an Atlanta sidewalk in 18 degree weather under a blanket that's too thin. I just pray that everybody can just keep me in prayer and keep the homeless people in prayer. It might be easy to overlook these stories because of all the hustle and bustle of the holidays, but these stories are real, they're happening, and they're happening here in our community. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First. Sawyer, thank you.